I believe I fed seven tarpon, none of which I came tied on. But I was so gassed from walking six miles on the beach. How did we do today? How did we do you today? Scoot out? We did great. Absolutely wonderful. Did you, you didn't fish, did you? Not in the slightest, it was wonderful. <laughs> we needed a rest day real hard. These 12 hour days kind of, you know, kick straight in the pooper real bad. So, <laughs> we, uh, Kai Daniel and I said, bump that. Finally, the much anticipated day off. <laughs> we need to rest. So we got up at, I don't know, like 9, 10. Dan tried to catch a couple of iguanas by the tail. Got real close. A touch um, too. Yeah. Decided to go into town because it was cruise ship day. I saw uh, four cruise ships parked right out here. Yeah. I had no idea they were that big. Yeah. I walked out in the morning, there were three docked and the fourth one was pulling up and I just immediately thought, oh, these poor people went down. <laughs> so there were 15,000 Americans that descended on Mahawal. Yeah, pretty much. And um, that sounds horrible for them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, seven have done the job. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I yes, met you guys the, for lunch. Yeah, the Malikon. I forgot we about met that. You guys at lunch. Yeah. yeah. What, La Pancha? La Pancha? Is that it? Uh, Pancha. La Pancha. He's yeah. laughing at your bad was... Spanish. Okay, how do I say it properly? La Pancha. That's what I said. La Pancha. La Pancha. Yeah, but you said. That's like... what Nick said. <laughs> La Pancha? La Pancha? Yeah. La, you La said, Pancha. You said it with a southern British accent. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, it's yeah. been a long day. Me and Meadows killed it. Yeah. I mean, we had a we had a great experience. We okay. di DIY bone fished. Just walking for a little bit on the on the beach, we uh, weren't seeing much happening, but we thought let's keep going. Let's walk up to this next point. And when we got up to the next point, we were like, "Hey, this looks fishy. Let's walk up to the next point." And so we just <laughs> kept going and. We came up on a school of about 20 bonefish mm. that Ben put me on and uh, I was able to sight cast. I put, put one kind of conservative as to not spook them. Yeah. Uh, and then the next one I put right on mm. them and all 20 of them turned around and chased it. Oh, and they awesome. for it? Were they? Yeah. Were that whole number? Yeah, the awesome. smallest one ate. <laughs> of course. Yeah. And uh, came tied on him. Okay. He ran as soon as he was as soon as he was getting to my uh, to my reel uh, piece of sargasso that was caught in my fly line mm -hmm. behind me, caught up in the second rod guide, oh, and he and he broke me off. It was a bummer. I mean, it was a you know, it's just it's the cost of doing business though. Uh, we got the side cast a few jacks too in the surf. Right here, field of the shot. Throw at him with his face. Are oh, you coming back? Do you see me coming back? See that big strato? Jog up to him and try to get to him. Oh, that's a good fish. All right, he's coming in. He's gonna do the same loop. Oh, no, he's pushing, sorry. Those were so fast and uh, it's hard to put one in the right spot, but uh, it was good, man. One of the, 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 the perks of fishing that part of the beach is uh, there, was a, there was a nice lodge there that, that, that served margaritas <laughs> right as we were walking out. So we got to sit down and chill in the hammocks. Refreshing beverage part way through. Yeah, yeah. Get, get a shot at a bonefish, you know, get tied on one and then, and then on your way back, have a margarita and a hammock ride for a few minutes. It's not bad. No, that's not it's bad not at bad. all. It's not bad. That's not bad at all, yeah.
And then we met up with uh, we met up with Nick Dembo and his boys. And uh, there was some there was some action in the surf, and there was some tarpon rolling out in the tannic kind of apple juice water. But I was so gassed from walking six miles on the beach. Uh, there's a creek that flows in just where we parked, and uh, it it kind of pushes some dark red kind of crimson water back up into the creek. Okay. We we stood there for a minute, looked around, rolling tarpon were around in that creek, pushing up from the ocean side, which was a bit of a surprise. Put a few casts with some deer hair poppers uh, and first cast, boom. Found out that the the, the popper was was just too big. The, the water was forcing forcing the deer hair and the feathers outside of their mouth as they came up to eat it. So uh, we had had trouble putting one on them. Uh, but they were hungry. They were hungry, and so we moved up and down the creek, kept throwing uh, kept throwing top water at them and trying to tease them up, and that worked. Uh, got another another eat, and then decided you know maybe subsurface is the play. So we threw some, some subsurface stuff at them and it just ate again. I believe I fed seven tarpon, none of which I came tied on. And then after I had no luck, I was fed up, I went out to, uh, to a rocky point to, to drink some beers and cast it, you know, hopefully any kind of passing schools that I might see. I gave Mr. Meadows the paddleboard to ride up in that creek, which was a great tool for that. I hear a lot of commotion coming from that creek I just got done fishing <laughs> and Meadows had hooked a tarpon uh, and, yeah, and and brought it brought it to the paddleboard which was a really cool thing to see. It was a nice fish, probably five, eight pound fish. It's good. This is good man. Sounds like you got into some good stuff. Absolutely, hundred percent. Would recommend rest day. Rest day? Highly recommend. Yeah. My, I did a half rest, you know, walk the beach, have a margarita, chill out, yeah. then fish some more. Yeah, you gotta factor it in at least a smidge. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Mm -hmm.